longer. <coughs> Not in my mouth. If it lasted long, that tastes so nasty. Happy Tuesday. I finished work, I think around an hour ago. And I just figured, you know what? Make some guac and chips, watch a couple YouTube videos, edit a little bit. I should go get some fresh air. Because after all, it's winter eight months out of the year, so I should enjoy it. It's just that I did so much flooring during the pandemic, I just don't have it in me anymore. If you guys know what flooring is, maybe I should pause this so I can keep up with her in a bit. Flooring is when you wander with no aim. So nowadays, because everything's so go, 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 I usually leave the house and I run three or four errands at once. But flooring during the pandemic, since there wasn't that much to do, was more just me exploring my city or just doing walking meditations and I should probably do that considering how the weekend went but I don't feel like it and I'm trying to get into this new routine which is why I'm excited to watch this video and see what she says about really doing self-care by starting with what's internal and how I feel so it's not that I'm lazy and you know what now that I'm talking I'm like I probably should go out we'll see if I do I'll bring you guys on the walk but let me finish this at least. I'm editing a video from April. Yep, I heard that right. Actually, technically, it's 95% edited. It just needs B roll, but I realized only tonight. So I'm going to try to do it before the sun fully sets. I don't remember the last time I took this camera out. That's trippy. Because there used to be a time in my life where I would have this with me five out of seven days of the week. I don't know what happened. I used to do so much more with YouTube content. I used to be out and about and doing the most. And this is even before I was vlogging. Maybe that's it, because I feel like, not that I don't love you, the vlog fam, but it does take a lot of time to set up while I'm living my life and then edit that life, to put it on and make it life. <laughs> you know, because sometimes my life is more like today. Whereas when I was doing sit down content, I could schedule it around the other parts of my life that didn't involve like setting up the shot to make an aesthetic in the kitchen, which you know how I feel about the kitchen, but you know what I mean. So it's just, this is a very weird feeling because it's been me and my camera for 13 years. Not this one, because I've gone through four or five at this point, but just identifying myself as a YouTuber. And I remember the first time I started YouTube. I had a camera similar to this one, but it was more of a point and shoot, and I had it on a stack of books. I'm sure you've heard the story before, and a lot of OG YouTubers have the same story. This is way before tripods and blurry backgrounds. This is this is real ground zero. And I remember thinking to myself, I have been diagnosed with an eye disease, but I'm not gonna let it get the best of me. And I don't want this disease to decide for me who I'm gonna be what I'm capable of doing. So it's just crazy. That's how I thought when I was 21. So it's a very serious thing <laughs> to be diagnosed at 21 and then have a sense of denial like, it won't get worse than this. <sighs> yeah, only past Alicia knew. So anywho, nice chatting with you guys. I have to make sure that this aperture can capture enough light. I think it's gonna be too dark for this though. I'm gonna try to color correct later, and that's the struggle. How do you color correct when your eyes can't color correct? Today, it's a little after what, six or seven? I don't even know. I came here late. I'm here with my uncle. He's in the washroom. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to vlog. I don't know about that vlog life. But we got glasses of wine. I ordered some salmon. He ordered some sea bass because it's a seafood night. I'll probably check in with you guys later tonight because once he comes back, the vlogging's got to wrap up. Term? The camera like, you know what leash is? No? Leash is Y in Arabic. Oh, look at you teaching me. Morning, morning, loves. Today is Thursday, day two in the office. I wonder if you can even see me since the sun is now rising. Well, okay, it's not rising. It's not that early, but I'm definitely going to be at least 20 minutes early for work, which is good. That means I can take my time, go a slow pace, maybe show you something interesting today because I have been slacking so hard with the vlogging. You don't understand. I came home fully intending to edit the vlog. Mm -mm. Yoga, shower, 
sleep. That's all I had energy to do. So hopefully I have something more interesting to show you guys today. And did you hear my uncle roasting me yesterday? I told you so. Question for all you Starbucks people out there, since I'm not a Starbucks person anymore, when did this become nearly $8? It's literally oat, coffee, hazelnut syrup. Make it make sense. Happy Friday. It is 7.01. My friend was supposed to pick me up at 7, but they're always late. So I figured, you know what, after work, let me edit a little bit, especially since vlog 18 is from the first week of June. Actually, second week. I took a week off in between Madrid and this. And then I'm editing Sunday. Next thing you know, I say, hey, happy Thursday. So this should be a short vlog, although I have two hours and 43 minutes worth of footage to cut down to hopefully 20, 25 minutes. Let's see how we do. But that's better than the three hours and 29 that I had from Madrid and Lisbon, which was still less than what I usually have for the vlogs that I chitty chat in the Kitchen Chronicles with you. So a lot of footage to cut down, not so much chatting, a lot of B-roll. The only thing about editing late is I feel bad because I could have this video up. If I had more time, but you know, work is work, it's a priority, it pays the bills, then there's being blind. And I can only fight myself so much. I'm slower now than I was before, and that's just what it is. So I predicted my friend would be late, and I got a text, let's see, seven o'clock on the dot. Can't be mad, because I know about that late work life. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully we get to go, since the spot we were gonna check is TikTok viral. I feel like a Gen Z saying that. It's a spot that I saw randomly, and I was like, oh, this could be interesting. You know me and my fusion food, so we'll see if we actually go there and end up somewhere else. But I'll bring you, if we go, because at this point, who knows? But until then, let's cut down the beat roll. And I took out all of the audio. Where's my hands? This is how you know I was focused on files, not fashion today. Sports? I mean, I could make this look nice with the dress shirt, but that's doing too much for where we'll end up. So I'll probably just switch it up for what I don't know. I can't say I don't have anything to wear because I do. I just, it's just loungewear and super dressy stuff. I don't know. Ta da! Super casual. Let's, well, he's not here yet. What kind of bag should I bring? I don't know. Where? What's going on? What's going on? Ooh. I've been bringing this one around a lot. Only thing is, you cannot fit in here with my phone. So I have to hold my phone in my hand the entire time. This has been my go to bag so far this summer. My usual. This is the problem. All these bags and I just revert to the same one for winter and the same two for summer. Ah, maybe I should use this one. It's so much fun, but it's not like, I'm just going to get pizza. It's never that deep. I can't even remember if this is the first time I'm going out this weekend. Or well, yeah, obviously it's Friday, but I mean this week, besides groceries. No, I hung with my uncle the other day. You know what I need? Rest. Last Friday, I took a nap, told myself 15 minutes, woke up two hours later, and we still went out. This Friday, no alcohol, sans alcohol, just good vibes. Yeah, need my card holder, some lip gloss. Which one should I pick? Oh, perfume. Sephora Glossed. This one is so good. It's as good as the Kaja for a third of the price. And then my little adorable, whoa, did I really use that much last summer? Because I haven't used it this season since. This is the Kaya Lee Vanilla Cocoa. 
if it lasted longer, <coughs> not in my mouth, if it lasted longer, that tastes so nasty. If it lasted longer, I would have bought a full size and bought this as a travel. But maybe that's a good thing because you know I lost my $60 travel perfume in Madrid, probably on the floor. I used to make these. Mine are never the skeleton. Wow, that was dangerous. A thousand dollars a day or a month? It's a treat. What do you think? With. to do but I want to also get out and live a little you know I feel like we're almost mid-July and I can't lie the summer's not going the way I wanted it to not good not bad not one of my bests but it'll power me through and whatever we're gonna get into because we're gonna get into some things today not sure what maybe this is not the fit if I don't know what I'm getting into it's not really fitting for a random day but hey this was the outfit that I wanted to wear in Kaskai I figured this top would be doing too much in Europe. It's more of a Spanish vibe. The Madrid wasn't like that at all. So I think it's more of maybe a Latin America, a Caribbean thing. We'll see. I do want to wear this fit once, at least this summer. I've had this top for two years and I haven't worn it out in my house. I'm probably going to switch into that dress though. The one you know that I did a try on for a couple of vlogs ago that I never got to pull out of my suitcase. I was supposed to wear it in Lisbon, but I thought we wouldn't have time to do an outfit switch, and then we did, but then I didn't feel like it. Long story less long, it was only five days. I can't believe that was a month ago. I feel like I'm due for another trip, but then summer in the six, it's so fleeting, you have to stay to enjoy it. So in the fall, we'll get into some things, but you'll see when you see. I don't wanna really speak too much about it. You guys know I'm pretty weird about trips. I never really announce them, so I'll bring you when I go though. That's all I do know. But let's stick to the present today, because that's a tomorrow way. What are we gonna get into? I don't know. Let me finish the smoothie and I'll edit a little, little bit and I'll check in with you guys in a bit. We are back at our favorite local coffee store. Say hey, Kev. He's too focused on buying one of those really bougie kettles with the curse spout. What am I gonna do with my friend? $39 for me now. This one smells so good. And I need to come back for this one. But we're not here for tea, we're here for coffee today. Now let's try. How about you? Yes, please. Thank you. The process is very different than this coffee. So they, Thank they you. recently brought me back some. <laughs> <laughs> Try at least. <laughs> I had the ginger, Jamaica, just dry ginger. It's like, this is ridiculous. I, yes. And then. Back. Worst content creator ever. I was supposed to take a picture for Instagram. Didn't happen. Every spot that I thought would look good, the angles weren't angling. So we're going to make a lunch. I'm almost done editing a mini vlog. I was gonna do two weeks in one vlog, but halfway through I was like, you know what? I wanna get this vlog up today, so I'm just gonna split it in half anyway. We're gonna make, I tried the beef one last time, and we're going back to cheese, because that one wasn't that good. Whew. I've only recently become obsessed with tortellini. You know what I should try? Agnolotti, is that how you say it? Okay, either way. The water's boiling, okay? Oh. Oh. Okay, let me just use a knife. Why can't I go with the path of least resistance? How about that? Acting like I don't know how to cook. So happy I bought this Power and Shine Vim instead of getting the usual canister of the powdered stuff. Being blind, I didn't realize that there were so many streaks when I used that to clean 
my sink. I mean, the toilet you can't see because it's porcelain, but the sink it was so obvious. And the whole point of cleaning something is so it looks spotless in the place. This is me trying to pick up patois. It's not happening. I am so Canadianized. My coworker and I were walking yesterday from, not yesterday, because I was in office. Sometime this week. I'm guessing it was Thursday because the days were all switched. Whenever it was, we were walking from one office to the next, because you guys probably, well, if you're not new, you already know that I work in two offices. Sometimes I go into both once a day, and I still have to go to two twice a week. Anyway, stay on track, girl. I'm all over the place. I'm bringing this up to say we were chatting while we were walking, and she thought I was from Antigua, because I'm always complaining about the cold. I'm like, no, my mom was born there. I wish. Being Antiguan is way more exotic than being born in Canada. Hello, but I'm happy at least I got that in my heritage. Antiguan Jamaican, eh? You know, I never used to claim Jamaica. There's so many Jamaicans here in Canada. It's way cooler to be Antiguan. I mean, if you're Caribbean watching this, I don't want to start a war, especially since I had jerk chicken last night, but I'm happy to be half Antiguan Jamaican. I think it is the best. I want to go to St. Lucia. That's what my friend and I were talking about yesterday. The islands that we want to visit. I really want to go to St. Martin, St. Vincent, St. Kitts, all the saints, okay? St. Croix, St. Bart. I don't even know if they're in the islands, like if they're in the Caribbean too. I I know. Make sure you leave me alone. I love all the sayings. I can't say it properly, but I love all the sayings. I'm such a weirdo. It is so hard to give eye contact these days. I never thought a day would come. I should have known. I remember the first time I Googled Stardust disease, it said trouble making eye contact and not being able to see spaces. I said, what kind of possessed eye disease is this? How are you gonna tell me I'm 19 and I quite possibly, officially diagnosed at 21, might not be able to see my own reflection? Make it make sense. Oh, there will be a cure in 10 years. That was 13 years ago. I want a refund for this life, you know? I didn't sign up for this. Listen. When I was up in heaven speaking with God, I did not register for this life. Who would ask for this? I got blind jokes on blind jokes on blind jokes all day. So let that saute for a bit, aka, oh, you know what? I realized cherry tomatoes need to be washed. Okay, not that this is any better for red sauce. Tomato sauce. I don't like wearing dark colors in the summer though. I have three other seasons three other long reasons to wear on my dark colors, you know? More basil. Turn it down. Chef Kev in the house. Preach. Preach what? The church of quesadillas. But there's no cumin in the old El Paso seasoning. Beef broth, a little Sir, it smells like you're cooking Indian food right now. Yeah. Put a this is not what you did last time. I already know. Yeah, it is. You put red wine in your quesadilla last time? White wine. Oh, wait. Uh, actually, no, I didn't put white wine. This time it's a quesadilla, and I don't usually have brown beef. You know, like when Caribbean people take the cloth, I do that sometimes. I do too. And the thing is with the oil in this one, <clears throat> when you add the spices, they absorb the oil and then they just stick to the beef. So it works out better. Yeah. So this is cheese oil, if anything. Yeah, pretty much cheese. I want to know is when did I become so old? Okay, I'm not old. I'm not old, but I am tired. That's all I know. And I'm trying to use the handheld to hold this camera. So forgive me if it's a little shaky and a little off because I usually hold my camera like this which is way more steady, but I figured this would give me a little extra length. I don't think it's making a difference. Anyways, I don't know if you can see in the background, but I have a whole nother vlog to edit and I need to get at it. But all I wanna do, I don't wanna get into it. I just wanna get into my bed. I just wanna shower and sleep, but that's not gonna happen to me. Meanwhile, I can hear splish splash in the pool. Some 20 something year olds are enjoying their best life. It's too cold for that. It's less than 25 degrees. Once the rain hit and the wind, whew, too much for me. So I'm gonna wrap up this vlog and now. I wish I could give you guys the quesadillas Kevin made because they were so good. I just kicking it a little bit. 
Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed spending another week with me. If you did, you know what to do. Tap the like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later.